Good afternoon Rangers, this is another Rangers Combat Shop. Today we're going to be talking about voice procedure with radios. Today we're using um, PMRs as uh, we've all got PMRs and we're going to be going over the ways to use radios properly in a tactical situation, at least from our experience. Um, and we'll be going over things like the phonetic alphabet, the, the correct phonetic alphabet and uh, some acronyms to help you out with this. So let's get to it. Ranger 3 from Ranger 2, go ahead, over. Ranger 2, we have a large horde of zombies coming in from the north-northwest, shuffling steadily, range 300 metres, over. Okay, folks, one thing to remember when using PMRs is these are not a secure network. So if you're using them with a group of friends, and there's others in the area with the same frequency, they will hear what you're saying. So if you don't want people listening in, don't use a PMR. Tell them verbally, face-to-face, -face, not over the radio. Okay, so we're going to go over... PMR itself. PMR stands for Personal Mobile Radio, operates in the 446 megahertz frequency, uh, which is actually in the UHF band. For those amateur radio people out there, you probably already know that. Um, it's similar to the FRS family radio service that's in America. Um, it's a license free uh, provision by Ofcom over here, which means you don't have to get a license to use it, you don't have to pay any money to use it other than buying the units themselves. Um, the pros of having PMR is that it's cheap generally to get the radios unless you get go for the higher end ones um, and it's easy to use. The, co the cons of it is that uh, you only have ha one half a watt, 0.5 watts of power. Generally r limits the range. You can generally get about half a click worth of range in a built up area, uh, two clicks out in the wilderness like we are. Or, more if you're in an open area, certainly more if you're on the top of a hill. Um, for example, with radios, I've got a Motorola XTN 446. This is a top of the range one. This cost me 150 quid when I first got it. Uh, it didn't come with this accessory. I got this separately. It just came like that, with nothing else. And this runs on a rechargeable battery pack, and it also runs on AA batteries. Dragon here has a cheapy no-name radio, which costs him about, uh, it was under a tenner wasn't it? About that. About that, under a tenner, and he got it in a pack of two. Usually you do get them in packs of two, and they're usually sold by the big chain supermarkets, especially around summertime. Um, Dragon's runs on AAA batteries. He gets it open, there we go, AAA batteries. Uh, usually, sometimes they come with rechargeable battery packs, but mostly the PMRs do, te do take uh, double A's or triple A's. Uh, if you're going to go for that, though, it's probably a good idea to get some, get one that will, that yeah, the rest of your items will take the same kind of batteries. So if you're going to have double A's, go for all your stuff having double A's. If you're going for a triple A one, go for all triple A's. The radios generally come with a, a generally pretty uniform and s standard across the whole design with the amount of buttons generally got a push to talk button which on most radios is on the side usually on the left hand side which both of these have sometimes they're on the front um, you've usually got a microphone on at one point of it and a large speaker a display screen to tell you what channel you're on and also maybe some other information um, you'll have a channel selector switch but usually an up and down he's got like an up and down on his um, a mode button for switching between the different menus and there's a call button isn't it there? Yeah we've both got call buttons on ours and that sends out a tone um, usually a little jingle to everyone listening in on that particular channel um, I, On my radio I've got a, a, rock, uh, a knob for controlling the on off and the volume whereas Dragon's has got, uh, uses the left and right buttons for selecting the volume one of the downsides, well, another one of the downsides with ra these radios is that you have a very limited frequency range to use. You've got what they have eight channels, and they're actually eight separate frequencies that you can use. Now, some radios do have the ability to um, what they call sub-channels, but they're actually more like privacy codes. It uses a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery um, with radio technology to, um, to shut off part of the frequency so that you only hear radio comms from people 
who have got the same privacy code as you. Anyone who have got, who's got privacy codes turned off, which is usually like channel number then zero, will hear everything. So it's not actually private, it just means that it, it filters out a section of the frequency for you. However, that, you do get problems with crosstalk. Say if you're in one of these sub-channels and, and someone else is using the radio on another sub-channel, you will not be able to use it at the same time because it's all the same frequency. So next we're going to go on to uh, talking about um, voice procedure. Another thing to remember, especially if you have the cheaper brands on the network, is the fact that they might not hear what you're saying and you may not hear what they're saying. So don't be afraid to say over the radio, say again. That way, at least your message gets through. One thing we use on the radio network is the phonetic alphabet. It's created by native forces to be able to transmit letters clearly and concisely over the radio waves. They're usually made up of two syllables, which either by themselves or together make it very clear on what letters being said. They're individual, so there's no way you can mistake one letter for another. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zoom. Applications for the PMR radios consist of things like your workplace, if your security or the construction site, your friends will be using them at festivals or conventions, you'll be using them in sports, for instance, or airsoft people use them quite regularly. And even if you were just going around town with your friends and some people wanted to go to one shop, you want to go somewhere else, you still got a way to communicate each other around the call up. Range your actual from Range 2, I'm beside the big tree where we're filming, over. Now what happened there was uh, Range your actual, which is V, asked me where I was, location. Um, I told him where he was, he knows where this location is. You can use code words that have been pre-arranged to say where locations are. Um, you also notice that um, I was Ranger 2 and he was Ranger Actual. Actual is a, a term you can add to the end of the code name for a group to say the leader of said group and in this particular scenario V is acting as the leader. So it would go Ranger Actual and then I'm Ranger 2 and Dragon's Ranger 3 and Miu is Ranger 4 and you can keep going from that. Um, sometimes it's easy for to use Ranger 1, or to use code word 1 or code word 0. Some places use control for like the HQ or leader of a group, um, but it's mainly for HQs as control. But if, generally if you hear code name actual, it means the person in charge. Okay folks, if you go for a nice cheap PMR, there's not really much you can do with it. However, if you go for a nice expensive one like what Graphen uses, there's a wealth of accessories you can use. You've got these lovely little microphones, so you can put the PMR in your pocket and just bring this up to your mouth, nice and easy. You've got these lovely holsters that you can put on your pocket in case you need to take it out, give it to someone else to use. Also, you have these lovely remote earpieces. Now some of them are nice and cheap, made of generic silicon, others made of nice surgical silicon that goes in your real comfortable. Now they go in your ear cancel out all noise on that side other than what you're hearing over the radio so it's nice crystal clear great for if you're in high noise situations like shooting or working at a gig or something like that essentially it's just a walkie talkie just don't get a gay one